Hey, welcome back. It's early spring here in Southeast Texas, so I'm standing in a roadside ditch. Now I'm not doing that just for my health, I'm doing it to check out all the burrowing animals that are residents in this area. In particular, the little creatures that are making these things. If you take a look closely, you see these little chimneys and they've got holes in them. There's a little aperture down at the base of that chimney. Here's another one right there. Chimney made up of these little nodules. Well, what on earth is making them? Let's take a look at another one and you'll find out. Oh, here's a really good one. Look at the size of this. It's about six, eight inches tall, made up completely of these mud balls. These things are just agglutinated piles of sand and mud and sediment that the thing is uh, burrowed into and balled up and brought to the surface and they constructed this little chimney. This is actually a crayfish burrow. And how do I know that? Well, I know that because I've seen crayfish coming and going out of these burrows. And when it's wet after rain, you'll see them excavating new burrows and they pile up these little chimneys like this. And as you start looking through the ditch, you start seeing remnants of chimneys all over the place. Some of them are kind of flat. Some of them have been kind of squished out and some are still standing. And there's a healthy population of crayfish here. So some of the chimneys are piled right next to each other, like little apartment buildings. Some are more isolated. There's big ones, there's little bitty ones. This one's cute and small, maybe about two, three inches tall. All different sizes in here. And once your eye comes accustomed to them, you see them all over the place. And they're most common where there was standing water. There's a culvert here that used to be standing water. And the crayfish like it when it's standing water and they burrow down when the water goes down. Now, I know what you're thinking. How deep can a little crayfish, that's maybe two, three, four inches long in body length, how deep can it burrow in these ditches? Well, I had that same question. So what I did when I first moved here about 16, 17 years ago, was I grabbed some hydrostone plaster, which is a casting plaster, poured some down a burrow. The little hapless crayfish that was in there came out. He was not very happy, so I took him out, removed him, rinsed him off, he's fine. Uh, if you're going to do this, please don't injure the little creatures, you know, try to get them out if you can and rinse them off. So I did that, poured the plaster in, and then I started excavating. And it took me a few hours to dig down into this ditch. Um, it's a lot harder than you might think, especially because the burrow cast, when you pull it out, looks like this. Yes, that is a long burrow cast. It's hard to get an idea of it right now in my hand, but... It's about four, four and a half feet long. So the top is up there. You can see where the plaster spilled out over the surface. And the burrow itself is this kind of corkscrewing shape. So you can kind of get a sense for it kind of spiral down. And what the animal did was he burrowed down. Little crayfish like to be wet. They breathe with gills. So they burrow down to the water table, maximum water table depth. So you can get the idea that in this area, at least, the maximum water table is probably around four feet deep maybe a little bit further uh, in the really dry season. So again, this is a modern version of the crayfish burrow cast. Look at that, that's pretty spectacular. Well, why do we care about them? We care about them because in the fossil record, you can find things just like it. So here's the modern burrow cast next to my foot, which is a size 10 and a half for scale. Uh, so again, it's about four feet long. Well, look at this. This is a chunk of crayfish burrow cast from the Jurassic Mars information. And don't you know, if you line them up side by side, they look really similar. They've got the same texture of where the little guy's claws and feet were working on it as he constructed it. They've got the same round profile, a little bit wider in some areas, a little bit rounder in others. But this is a perfectly good crayfish burrow from the Jurassic. And in fact, crayfish burrows have been found as far back as the Triassic. They're found in the Jurassic the Cretaceous, the Paleocene, and even the Eocene and Younger Rocks. So now you know about the mysteries of the mighty burrowing crayfish and its ancient history. Tell your friends, amaze your family, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.